how have you just seen Devon Topkins, you know, these first two games and, you know, coming in so far? Oh, yeah, Dev, yeah, Dev, uh, Dev has been progressing. Um, I'm very excited. I've said in a couple of interviews, I'm excited about him and um, Braylon, um, just some other guys that have been working, but I'm definitely, uh, definitely proud of Dev. I mean, he's been putting in the work. Um, I mean, he's he's been ready for this moment. So it's just all about, just like everyone else, it's all about uh, just getting better each and every day. And uh, I mean, bye week kind of came at a better time. Even in the blowout win against Utah State in the fourth quarter, there still seemed to be that energy between all of you guys. How would you describe the camaraderie in the locker room and the defensive side of the team as a whole right now? Uh, we're just hungry, man. I mean, I just feel like there's nothing better than going after a goal that people say you can't achieve uh, with a group of people that do believe. And uh, I remember Coach Riley saying that last year at the beginning of the year, like before the season even started. And it just feels good. I mean, um, obviously we don't pay attention to what's said or whatever, but I mean, we already know what the thought process was about the team coming in and uh, what we had to get better at, what we had to achieve. And uh, we're just hungry as a bunch, as an offense, special teams, especially defense, but just as a whole. And uh, I'm, I'm just excited to see where we go. Jamal uh, Lincoln has said that you know in the, in the spring portal he was very intentional about bringing in guys who'd be kind of good culture fits and yeah. wouldn't you know mess things up and, and um, w when Gavin got brought into the fold did it surprise you a little bit that they brought someone in that late kind of in the portal and what was your your, your reaction? To that? Uh, I, honestly, I can't even remember when they, like when they brought him in like how late it was. I just know um, I had heard about him. I don't know where. I want to say maybe my dad had brought him up or something before he even <laughs> like had a like chance of even coming here uh, but I remember hearing of him before and obviously just getting to know Gav like that's uh, one of my favorite guys on the team he's cool he comes from a group of five school like myself uh, Overlook and uh, he just gives it his all I mean I'm sure it's evident what he does on the field he's very strong and uh, he has a lot of you know great things going for, um, for himself and um, I'm just excited for him and his family during camp, you were pretty confident things would be different for Anthony Lucas this year. What, what gave you that confidence? I mean, you know, he, uh, just the way he prepares, the way we all prepare. I mean, obviously, defensively, it, it, has went, um, it has went great for us. You know, things hasn't went as planned, obviously, as we wanted to, believe it or not, um, whether it be individually or as a group. Um, just, you know, just getting all of our goals. But, I mean, everything's not going to work out perfect. But I will say that, you know, uh, him and a lot of a lot of other guys have definitely made strides, and uh, we're you know that that is a credit to how far our defenses came to. You guys only have been penalized once on defense over two games. Uh, it's one thing to turn around and play a lot better than last season, but like, what does it say about this defensive staff that you guys are so locked in? Even the reserves aren't getting penalties. Like, what what do you account that for? Like, how has that been able to happen so fast? Everyone on the same page. Uh, I, just, I think it just all goes back to being hungry. Um, it's just that it's just that that not necessarily a sense of urgency, but it's like it's that feeling that you know you're right there, and you got to just keep going. It's like you need it all, and you can't <laughs> give anything. That's one of Coach uh, Coach Lynn's biggest messages, Coach Nua and Coach Henny, and the whole defensive staff. Like, don't give anybody anything. You know, if they whatever they get, you know, it has to be them earning it. Um, you know, that's why I give all the props to LSU or Utah State. Um, because you know whatever they got, you know they had to earn it, and that's just our goal. And um, it just shows, you know, how good of a team they are, and yeah. shows how much better we're being, we're, we're, we're becoming. Seeing how much just kind of Michigan struggled offensively, you know, last week, does it, it give you guys kind of a sense of, you know, there's an opportunity here to, to, to really kind of go into their house and, and come away with one next week? I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, we're just excited to go in the big house and uh, play against a wonderful program, uh, tradition, rich program. Um, it'll be exciting. I know Coach knew a coach there, so uh, I'll be excited messing with him a little bit. But, I mean, all of that, I don't, I don't know. But I just know it'll definitely be exciting, especially me going there. I've never, you know, played in that environment. So it's exciting. As a whole, the defensive line has been pretty much winning the trenches. What are the edges doing to kind of win those one-on-one -on -one battles that we need to work back? Yeah, we just we, we just had to we just had to continue to get better. Um, we haven't done nowhere near as good as we could. Um, but but that's coming though. That's coming. Where have, seen, where have you seen Braylon Shelby take a step forward from year one to year two? Yeah, his focus. I mean, obviously, his, his, I mean, he's built like a tree. Uh, he's huge. Uh, I kind of feel uncomfortable standing next to him sometimes. But, yeah, that's my guy, man. Um, I love Braylon. I love Anthony. I love the whole D-line. I love Dev, Sam, all of my guys. So uh, I'm just excited to see Braylon continue to go, to be honest. I mean, I like, y'all, you'll see. I just know he'll go far. That's all I know. Why do you think you guys are so disciplined defensively? What do you attribute that to? Just reps. I mean, repetition is the mother of all learning. I think the more you do something, uh, I think it's kind of crazy to think you'll mess up on it. 
Um, you know, Nick Saban said something not too long ago, and he was like, you can't do something till you get it right. You got to do it until you can't get it wrong. And I think that go, that boils down to situational football, um, penalties, intolerable penalties, all that stuff. I mean, Coach Riley coaches his butt off when it comes to stuff like that. So uh, it's been amazing to see some of that stuff, especially in the first game, how it played out. And, um, I mean, I've never seen a coach, like, prepare a team so well like Coach Riley has. So, uh, you know, kudos to him. Is there a stat you think best captures pass rush success? St um, I mean... I guess however many passes the quarterback can't get off, I don't know. I would, I would, I would say, I would say that's a good question for PFF. <laughs>